Welcome to my T.Y. Hilton Film Room. In this video, we are going to go over how the Colts re-signing T.Y. Hilton will help usher in an ease for Carson Wentz, the new quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts, into the new era. And with this, it's, we're going to go over not only his speed, we're going to go over his route running, his veteran presence, and his catching ability to help Carson Wentz become the best that he could be and reclaim that MVP form that he had back before last year. Now on this play, as I said, week one, Phillip Rivers is a quarterback. Phillip Rivers being a new quarterback had no experience, zero with this team. They, he was only with them for a couple weeks to practice. So there were specific plays early on in the year where they had to go with, rather than, rather than uh, timing on routes, it was more just throwing to a specific spot on the field at a right time rather than um, knowing how receivers run routes early on, like crossing patterns and stuff, to adjust the speed. Now, on this play, it is a simple play action which helps keep the linebackers up. And it's all about speed. You have Paris Campbell in the slot. You have T.Y. Hilton on the outside to the right. And at first, it's going to look like both guys are running deep go routes, which is a huge benefit to the guy making the cut because that takes the safety out of the play. And the cornerbacks on both these guys, this cornerback will half, to come off, hand him off to the, the safety off Paris Campbell, which leaves him on an island with T.Y. Hilton. This play is beautifully designed by the coaching staff of the Indianapolis Colts. As we watch, this play is snapped. Immediately, both these guys take off and are gunning. As you can see, T.Y. Hilton, head down, shoulders down, looking like he is going all the way downtown. And still, 10 yards down the field, he still looks like he's burning rubber, right? Phillip Rivers, all play action is already done. He's looking down. Legitimately, there's only two serious options. So that's all they have to cover is two guys because everybody else is right up here on the line currently blocking. So this is max protection for a quarterback that has no scrambling ability. We continue down. T.Y. Hilton cuts inside. Now, this is a smart move because now that he cuts on the outside, sorry, of the cornerback, the cornerback looking back at the quarterback now loses sight of Hilton. This is a brilliant Right before T.Y. is about to make his cut outside, he cuts right behind him, looking like, you know, he's going to take the sideline deep route. But, in fact, he uses that slight time where the cornerback loses sight of him to make his move. He immediately, as you see, he tuckers down, starts stabbing with his feet so he can make the outside cut. Phillip now is throwing the football because the cor cornerback is staring at Phillip Rivers, he thinks this is a go route deep, right? But he has no sight on T.Y. because he's behind him and doesn't realize he's cutting to the outside. So the corner has to assume this is a deep route, which is beautiful. By the time the ball's in the air, the cornerback realizes, oh, this isn't going way downtown. It's too late because T.Y. is already heading to the sideline. There's The corner has absolutely zero chance. None. At the point of the catch, the cornerback is five. The closest person to him is five yards away. Five yards after a 20-yard reception. For Carson Wentz, this is huge. Absolutely huge. Because that means that Carson... Carson Wentz, all he has to do early on, even though he's going to have a full preseason 
an offseason with T.Y. Hilton, he's got plays like this that he could go to where it's just throw to a specific spot on the field and know that T.Y.'s route running and his veteran savviness will help him get open for easy completions for 15, 20 yards downfield. That's going to make Carson look a lot better. But what about tight man coverage? Well, how about week four against the Chicago Bears? Chicago Bears have a very good, very good secondary, especially a man secondary. And on this play, T.Y. Hilton is covered by Eddie Jackson, who has, he's so close and tight. He's basically, T.Y. is basically wearing Eddie Jackson as a backpack on this play. Now, as we look, let's move back just a hair. And as you see, T.Y. Hilton, is, as the ball is snapped, is on the inside slot, right outside the left tackle, Anthony Casanzo. And Eddie Jackson is giving him a good amount of space, about eight yards. Why? Well, T.Y. is still really, really fast. And T.Y. knows he's only got to get to the 40-yard line for a first down. So this is a timing play. Against very tight man coverage. Phillip Rivers knows what's going on and is expecting to go to T.Y. right away. You look, he is staring T.Y. down. So this is no help at all for T.Y. Hilton because he is legitimately staring. He's waiting for T.Y. to make that break. He knows T.Y. does breaks so well that generally his speed is able to give a little bit of separation. This is not a very good throw. This is not a very good timing pass either. This is a bad play for Phillip Rivers. But he gets bailed out by T.Y.'s ability to make a catch with a guy draped all over him. As T.Y. makes this break right here, you can see they are basically hugging each other right at the top. And Rivers is now winding up to throw the football knowing that... This is close. He expects T.Y. to to be able to get separation. But Eddie Jackson holds on. Holds on the entire time as Phillip throws this football. Still all over his back like a blanket. Now, this there was no penalty called. But there even if there was, it wouldn't have been needed. Why? Because T.Y.'s ability to go up and get the football is unparalleled. For a guy his size. He goes up. Great jumping ability. To catch the ball at the high point. Where he can get it. Eddie of course reaches in with his arms. To try to slap the ball away. But T.Y. Snatches it and brings it right to his body. He does not leave his arms. Out there. With the football above himself. For no longer than just a split second. When he catches his football. So that when Eddie swipes at it, his arms are already in his body. He completely misses. Bam! Unable to get the ball out. T.Y. catches it. Five yards past the line of scrimmage. First down. This is going to be huge for Carson Wentz. Because that means that even if T.Y. is covered, Carson can throw him the football and know that T.Y. has got enough veteran savvy and knows how to work against those really long corners to be able to catch this football and bring it in quick. Even if it's thrown way above him, and he's a short receiver, but still able to do that. Great play by T.Y. Hilton with a long Eddie Jackson all over his back. Week 10 against the Tennessee Titans, T.Y. Hilton shows he is an expert at carving up Soft zone defenses, able to get right into a spot, right in the middle where there is no one covering him, able to catch the football and turn immediately to get a little bit of yards after catch so he could get that first down. On this play, he shows it beautifully as you see T.Y. Hilton at the bottom of the screen with soft coverage. As the ball is snapped, it's very, very simple. T.Y. Hilton looks immediately, sees, oh, 
the cornerback is not staring at him. He's staring at Philip Rivers. The safety is watching down. All these guys looking at Philip Rivers and not at him. So he knows, hey, the cornerback is going to let him off because he knows he's got a running back coming behind him that's going to walk into his zone. So he knows the cornerback is not going to have his eyes on him shortly. He's going to let him run past him. And as soon as he gets past him, he's going to turn around right there because he knows the corner is looking at the running back now. He turns immediately to look at Phillip Rivers and Phillip sees him. Oh, he's in the zone. he's in that soft spot. Throw the football as quickly as possible. T. White, watch what he does. He's already backpedaling and getting ready to turn as the football arrives at T.Y. so that he could get yards after catch. Because that's the thing about zone defenses. Zone is all about allowing the catch and tackling immediately, not giving up yards after catch. So T.Y.'s ability to catch the football and be in the process already of moving forward to get that first down is unparalleled. That is beautiful. That's where you know that a receiver and a quarterback is going to make great music on the field because a quarterback can see the zone because the quarterback has got great vision. He can see it all. And as soon as he sees a soft spot in a zone, he knows there's not going to be much soft spot here because of the amount of bodies. There's very little bodies, a lot less bodies, on the right side rather than the left side. Whereas you see you got one, two, three, four, five guys on the left and only three guys that can cover the right. So he knows that Rivers is going to throw it right at him. Rivers looks, waits for the person to, to find that soft spot, which is T.Y. He knows he's going to do it. Able to get rid of the football quickly. T.Y. knowing the guy is coming in on him fast, turns away from the pursuit so that he can get that first down. That is absolutely wonderful. And the ability that T.Y. is able to actually catch the football while backpedaling, knowing where the first down marker is, not only being able to find the soft spot in the zone, but the presence of mind to know where he is at on the field so that he could go get that first down, that's going to make Carson Wentz again look very, very good this year. Great job here by T.Y. Yes, it wasn't a very long play, but it was crucial to pick up a first down and move the sticks. But Carson Wentz still likes to throw it deep. Uh, can can T.Y. Hilton still be a deep threat, you might ask? Well, two weeks later, when they play the Tennessee Titans again, T.Y. Hilton proves, yes, he not only still has the speed to do the things that... Uh, Carson Wentz absolutely loves, but he has the veteran savvy to make sure that it is a completion rather than a contested catch. On this play, T.Y. Hilton does a great job, absolutely great job at making sure he has the catch and not the cornerback. As you see, T.Y. Hilton right here, we got three wide receivers, a tight end, and a running back. He is wide to the right. And, of course, as you would expect, the cornerback has given him a good five-yard cushion on off coverage just because he respects the speed of T.Y. Hilton. Now, as this ball is snapped, as you watch, immediately, Zach Paschal cutting to the outside takes the safety out of the picture because the cornerback is still got good cover. He's, he, the cornerback's got speed, and he knows that he can, he can cover T.Y. because he's got speed to cover him. So he takes Zach Pascal on the deep because Rivers is throwing the football in that general direction. This was good timing on throwing the football because now this makes it, it looks like he's throwing to Pascal, who's kind of open right now. And that's why the safety goes after Pascal rather than T.Y. But Rivers is actually throwing towards the, deep towards the middle of the field 
to give T.Y. a chance to run open to catch this football. Now, as you notice, T.Y., ooh, that's an ugly little, let's go back a little bit. T.Y. breaks on this football right here. He has a little bit of space, but he assumes the corner is still very, very tight on him. So what's he do as the ball is in the air? This is absolutely beautiful. As the ball starts to come down, he slows down. Now, he could have continued his full speed because this, this ball was perfectly thrown to hit him in stride at full stride. But he assumed that the cornerback was right on his back. So he slows down to let the corner get around him, past him. That is veteran savvy to help make sure he has the first shot at this ball to get behind the, in front of the corner, I'm sorry, as the ball arrives, letting the corner get past him. He jumps up, high points the football, where the corner now is not in a position to make a play on the ball. That is beautifully done by T.Y. Hilton. And because of that, he catches the football as the corner flies past him, and he's able to turn and run towards the end zone. Now, we need to make uh, a different angle on this because as you see, he's tackled here. His knee is officially down, and then the ball comes out at the end. It's called a fumble, but then it's reversed after it's seen uh, by the replay that his knees were definitely down on the play. Let's watch at this angle as Phillip throws this football. This is gorgeous by T.Y. I mean beautiful. Currently, right now, T.Y. legitimately has position on the cornerback. But the corner is closing pretty quick. I mean, the corner is burning rubber. And if T.Y., like I said, continues to run down the field at full speed, the corner could catch him, swat the ball, and it could be an incompletion. But T.Y. slows down, turns upfield, and the corner doesn't realize this. The corner's going for the football where it's going to. And the corner can't slow down fast enough and actually runs past T.Y. and doesn't have a chance at the, at the ball. That's veteran savvy at its at most ability. Now, does T.Y. continue going this way? No, because he knows the momentum of the cornerback has him going, going that way. So he turns around. Beautiful spin move. And takes off the other direction. It almost gets away from him if it wasn't for the jersey grab. For a touchdown. Beautiful play by T.Y. Hilton. And, yeah, that goes to show that even, even when he's covered deep, he could take that deep ball and make it an easier catch than it normally would be because of his nine-year veteran status. He's learned how to manipulate corners to make a catch much easier than what it normally would be. If you're watching a zone defense and T.Y. Hilton is running what, you know, a play that he absolutely loves anyhow, it's a deep post pattern. <laughs> and it's a safety one-on-one -on -one against T.Y. Hilton. Carson, just throw the football to him and, and notch another highlight film play in your books because that's all you got to do. There's not many safeties out there that can take on T.Y. Hilton one-on-one. -on -one. There's just not many. Like on this play here, you see T.Y. in a stacked formation to the right. And he's going deep. He's going to run right past the corner because they're playing shallow zone. Which means the inside guy, which is, believe it or not, the safety key, has to cover T.Y. Hilton. I feel so bad for Key. Oh my goodness. Because watch. T.Y., as soon as the corner steps in front, he realizes... Oh, are you kidding me? I have a safety on me? What? This move, T.Y. Hilton puts on the safety, is nasty. As you see, Key now lines up, squaring up against T.Y. Hilton in case he goes left, in case he goes right. 
He's got to prepare because T.Y.'s at full sprint. And if he doesn't choose right, it's game over. T.Y. helps him make the choice by turning and planting that right foot. He plants that right foot right in front of Key, which makes Key go right. Oh, right there. Oops. No, but, but Hilton went left. Now he's so wide open, it's not even funny. Just lob it out there. Let T.Y. Hilton catch his football on a simple touchdown play all day, every day. You can't do that with T.Y. Hilton. You can't. You can't put a safety on this man. Right here, he plants that foot. He's already ready to take off this way with him. This post route was gorgeous. As soon as he makes that, that cut, Rivers, right now, is getting ready to throw this football. And it's a good thing, too, because the pressure's coming uh, from his blind side right now. He gets rid of the football just in time as he gets hit. But that ball's away, and that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Touchdown, T.Y. Hilton. 41 yards downfield. Yeah, he could still do it deep. But what about the red zone? T.Y. Hilton's small stature, doesn't that hurt him in the red zone? Well, not necessarily. Are you going to be throwing him a lot of 50-50 balls in the red zone? Absolutely not. But the great thing about his presence is we've already established he is great against the zone and finding open spots on the field no matter what with his uh, quickness and uh, agility. He's able to find these little soft spots in the zone. And as we see here, this play in particular where he finds that soft spot and it's a tight space. There is a lot of, he knows he's about to get lit up when he catches this football. But, and being a guy of smaller stature, he knows this. So what's he do? He makes his body tight and compact as soon as he catches the football. As we watch the ball arrive, he slowly falls down to the ground and tighten his body up so that he's able to take the impact no matter where it's coming from. And he takes a licking right as he goes down with the football. But because it was low and he went low, he was not literally uprighted from the legs to take a nastier hit and possibly lose the football when the contact was made. Very smart in the way he receives the football. He just goes down immediately. Before the ball even gets there, he is going down to make his body less of a target and he's not knocked up into the air and pinballed by all these guys. That is a wonderful job. And it is a weapon that Carson Wentz can use in the red zone. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this film room. If you liked it, please smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed. And uh, by the way, check out the description of the video. That way you can see multiple ways you could support me, whether it be at Patreon, which all donations and all patrons, any money that I receive from there will go to increasing better quality and more videos. And with different software and hardware upgrades. And don't forget, until next time, I'm Lawrence Owen. This is Colts Law, film room of T.Y. Hilton and how he can be a positive effect for Carson Wentz. Have a good one. Just because a guy's a player's not a household name doesn't mean we can't make him a household name.